Have you ever wondered if antimatter falls to the ground just like matter? If this question stirs your curiosity, you're not alone. It's a mystery that has intrigued scientists and science enthusiasts alike for years. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of antimatter. Imagine a mirror world where everything is a polar opposite. That's what antimatter essentially is. It's the Alice in Wonderland of the particle world, where every particle has an antiparticle, bearing the opposite charge. So if you think about it, an electron, which is negatively charged, has its counterpart in the anti-electron, or positron, which is positively charged. These opposites don't just attract, they annihilate each other on contact, releasing energy. This mysterious quality of antimatter, its existence as the polar opposite of what we know and understand, makes it incredibly intriguing. The question then becomes, does antimatter behave like matter when it comes to gravity? To understand if antimatter is affected by gravity like matter, we first need to understand what antimatter really is. Picture this, a universe running parallel to our own, where everything is opposite. Sounds like science fiction, right? Surprisingly, it's not too far off from the concept of antimatter. In the simplest terms, for every particle in our universe, there exists an antiparticle that's exactly the same, but with an opposite charge. Let's break this down a bit. The building blocks of matter are atoms, which are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have a positive charge, electrons have a negative one, and neutrons are neutral. Now, in the world of antimatter, there are antiprotons, antineutrons, and positrons, which are the antimatter equivalent of electrons. Antiprotons carry a negative charge, positrons carry a positive one, and antineutrons, like our regular neutrons, are neutral. But here's where things get really interesting. When matter and antimatter meet, they don't shake hands and catch up over a cup of coffee. Instead, they annihilate each other, releasing energy in the process. This phenomenon is so powerful that it's the principle behind the energy production in stars and has even been proposed as a potential source of power for interstellar travel. However, don't get too excited just yet. Antimatter isn't something we stumble upon in our daily lives. It's incredibly rare and difficult to produce and contain, largely because it disappears the moment it comes into contact with regular matter. But why does antimatter matter? Well, understanding antimatter could help us answer some of the biggest questions in science. It could explain why our universe is made up mostly of matter, even though equal amounts of matter and antimatter should have been created in the Big Bang. So, in essence, antimatter is like the mirror image of matter. But does this mirror image also fall down like matter does? Now that we know what antimatter is, we can delve into the relationship between antimatter and gravity. Imagine for a moment that you're holding a piece of antimatter. Would it fall to the ground like a regular object, or would it do something entirely different? Some theories suggest that antimatter might behave in a way that's completely opposite to what we're used to. Instead of falling down, it might actually rise up, seemingly defying gravity. This idea, while it might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, is a real hypothesis that scientists are currently studying. The concept is known as anti-gravity, and it's based on the notion that antimatter might respond to gravity in a completely different way than regular matter does. But how can we possibly test this theory? Well, that's where the physicists at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, come in. CERN is home to the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Here, scientists are able to create and study antimatter in a controlled environment. Experiments are currently being conducted at CERN to see how antimatter interacts with gravity. Scientists are creating antimatter particles, carefully containing them, and then observing how they behave. Do they fall down like regular matter, or do they rise up, seemingly repelled by the force of gravity? The results of these experiments, however, are not conclusive yet. Antimatter is incredibly difficult to create and even more challenging to contain, making these experiments both complex and expensive. But despite these challenges, scientists are determined to uncover the truth. As we continue to explore the enigmatic relationship between antimatter and gravity, we're reminded of just how much we still have to learn about the universe. It's a vast, complex, and fascinating place full of mysteries that we're only just beginning to uncover. While we're still uncovering the secrets of antimatter and gravity, one thing remains clear. The universe is full of fascinating mysteries waiting to be explored.